We've all felt it before. You might have just sat down at your desk, you've got your work in front of you, but it just seems like you can't think. As weird as it is, the work's in front of you, you're sitting here, but everything just seems a little bit foggy. It's like you just are unable to think clearly enough to do the work. You're just in this kind of idle mode almost. And th this is just brain fog. It can be caused by a number of reasons, but I just want to go over three things that can have a huge impact and basically reduce down any of this brain fog that you might be experiencing. So first up, and probably the most potent thing is cold showers. They sure put something into your system that flushes everything out. It pretty much just instantly strips down your mind and clears all thoughts that might be clouding your head. The second you step into an, a cold shower, you just hit with a massive shot of adrenaline and you're pretty much instantly pulled into the present moment. So thoughts about the past, thoughts about the future, they all just vanish, at least for the moments while you're in the cold shower. And one of the best benefits of cold showers is they increase your dopamine for probably the next couple of hours, which means you're going to be overall feeling better. You'll just be more positive, more have a brighter view of the world, but you'll also have an increased amount of motivation and drive to do things. This is honestly one of the best benefits in my opinion, is you just feel more fired up and ready to get things done. All right, next up we've got deep journaling. So pretty much this is just where you grab a big piece of paper and you start going down the rabbit hole. You pop open the hatch and you just keep drilling down into your thoughts. What are you worried about? What are you concerned about? Things about the future, past events. You just unravel all of it. And you just keep asking yourself challenging questions that forces you to drill deeper and deeper and deeper. You essentially wrestle with your own mind. You do your best to clearly identify and understand yourself. Most people never, never truly understand themselves because they've never asked themselves the needed questions. So journaling and specifically like really deep journaling where you block out a long period of time and you just go ham, you just keep on going. One of the things that makes this exercise so powerful and so potent is by questioning everything. Just keep on asking yourself questions. All right, why do I think that? Uh, why is that actually uh, a concern for me? Why am I worried about that? And you just keep on going and going. You will most likely come to a lot of revelations, but the key thing is that when you've dived into your thoughts, to that kind of extent, you'll probably be a lot more level-headed and clear-minded afterwards, which again can help with that kind of fogginess that a lot of us experience. All right, and lastly, we've got simply cleaning up our physical and digital spaces. Many of us live in a complete mess and I'm often one of them, unfortunately. We need to do our best to keep our physical and digital spaces clean. Physical is one thing, having an organized desk and clean working environment, but what does your like computer lap or computer or laptop look like? When you go in there, is there just files everywhere? Are you running out of storage? Is it all just a complete mess? Because if that's the case, you're only going to be kind of adding this layer of like almost low level stress. Your mind's gonna act almost as like a mirror of your environment, whether it's digital or physical. If your digital and physical environments are nice and organized and tidy, everything's systemized, your brain's gonna feel the same way. This is why it's really important to have all this under control. On top of all that, it just helps create an environment of less distractions. There's less noise 
in the area. You're able to see clearer and identify what needs to be done and exactly how to do it. Anyway, bro, I hope this has helped and I'll see you in the next video.